car are we? We're going to this meet in Beverly Hills. This car's a coffee looking meet, so we'll see what's there. Last year there was an LFA. And a Carrera GT. And a Carrera GT with like 30,000 miles on it. Um, but this, this, this year we'll see. We're a little late too, so hopefully there's already, there's already stuff there. We got some cars leaving. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks expensive. There's a 275 in the back. We'll get there later. These guys drove from New York all the way here. I like it because I've never seen it. I haven't seen a white one. And I think these are both manual. Tyler's E28. Very nice. Most are rusted out. Red. I think that's signal yellow. Very pretty. There's my car. Got a new sticker made. It's a little bit like reflective looking blue. It looks like the new frozen berry. Morning, Stefan. Hello. Are you doing? Good. Yeah. Good. Right hand drive? No, I haven't. Look, right hand drive, right? Camry, Camry right. Wagon in 280. <laughs> There's a Lancer here, too. So that's a regular uh, 930, and this is a 930 turbo. You can see how white hips are with these stickers. There's a 280Z on the road over there. Let's check these out. So that's the front. That's also the front here, though. And then we have the Lancia here. The little elephant. And the box fenders. This GT3 has a, thr has a cable throttle for the accelerated pit pedal, so I think most people like this. We have a really nice Speedster. Green. Chrome wheels. European imported Carrera RS. So these cars never made it into America because they weren't homologated for the market. So after 25 years, a lot of people start bringing these cars in. And this color has gotten really popular with the 991 and 992 generation. I think there's two colors for this. There's one called Ruby Star Red, and there's another one called Ruby Stone Red. So Ruby Stone is a little more darker than this. Ooh, the seat inserts. And Ruby Star has a brighter hue to this. The Carrera Cup wheels. Okay, correction. It's a Japanese car because uh, it's imported by Mizuha. Not European, but basically the same uh, build. Oh, chrome. Side pipes. Oh, that was a wrap. Pretty cool cars. officially starting with this car so we're gonna drive around the city and try to find any cool cars running around got a new sticker made made that's like reflective it's like blue and purple looking all right here we go day one in la wow look at this so i think this is a gtr and then this is a gt same same but different different wheels um different brakes I'm not sure but then it's pretty cool Roy's doing the video as well look at the wheel I mean the wheel and the um, exhaust tips over there so this one has like glass windows and that one has like plexiglass windows over there obviously you can tell which one is uh, more for the track and stuff black is cool but I think the black is really hot for the track the exhaust and over here it says P1, and the other side it says GT. Wow, those mirrors look like LV ears. The four maneuvering, something right height. Oh, these are carbon fiber barrels? These barrels. I think those are endless brake pads as well. And 
got this P woman. So oh, GTR like number 18. So I think this is a good wood festival of speed. Fender lovers. I think they're putting on a skid plate or something to protect the front lip. Let's see the inside. Wow, it's toasty in there. Was not expecting to see this today. Well, both of these at least. I think even though it's black, if you look closer, that's carbon. The whole door panel is carbon as well. Well, and then the wheels, obviously. The window trim. I think the windshield has like heating coils in it. You can see a little bit of color. And the front lip is like uh, that as well. Like, look how big it is. I don't know if, you, if you've seen this Hot Wheel before, but this car, I literally have the same Hot Wheel version of this, but I don't have it with me right now. Couple cool like Whoa. Japanese cars here. Show this. I think it's only appropriate to park this car next to these. Not sure if this is a launch spec, but we have a Rimac here. I think Roy saw this yesterday. That's as much as I can see from over here. Going to the other side. So this is like gold and purple and green and blue and literally all the colors on this Senna, it's pretty sick. Purple, bronze, green, blue. I thought this is the one that we saw a couple years ago, but apparently it's a different one. One? I think this is the best spec one so far. It's just yellow, the launch spec. Oh, he should have parked in race mode. Not sure what those are over there, but here we have a black CGT 300 SL. They moved it up here, and then a Veyron. I think it's the same Veyron from last year, but it's pretty sick. Yeah. And then this is a little super robust thingy. I love how they just squeeze it over here, like that one over to that one too. SLR, the Lambo. Big Jeep looking Rambo. That's pretty cool with like headlights in the back or fog lights, spotlights. And this tiny car here. I think this is an BMW Isetta, I think. Yeah, it is. Four, the four wheel version. Wait, I think they only came in four wheels. But, and the Pullman. And the Volkswagen thing. So we showed up at uh, the McLaren dealership and the owner's son loves the car. We got an Elva here that I didn't even see. That's pretty cool. I think these are stickers. Oh, they're painted, not stickers. Very, very cool MSO. I think that's painted as well. Super neat. And here we have another Sabre with Montana plates. I think this is the, uh, what, third Sabre we saw today? I think I've seen maybe five of these. And each of them are so unique because these are only made for the American market because of the safety regulations. And two Maseratis. We're in Beverly Hills McLaren, Old Bugatti, Senna, another Senna, uh, the P1 GTR, another Senna, and a speed tail down there. P1s, that wing though, and the exhaust. That's a pretty funky looking Senna. And then here's the Senna GTR. I think it's the same one that we saw last year that was still here. But um, it's always nice to see it again that Chiron oh there's another another saber back here with the funky looking Pacific color thing literally says memes look at that you know they say when you're in LA with a GTR you have to stop by Toretto's market aka Bob's food market in real life I think the Fast and Furious house is actually up the street over there 
Cars getting interviewed. Actually, somebody, somebody want to actually vlog from my camera as well? Yeah. We're getting interviewed outside Bob's Market. Yeah. We're here at the Fast and Furious house, and the real house doesn't have a garage in the back. With Roto Pocket's cars. And we have all these people here joining the little photo shoot here. So it's kind of cool. We got a doggo. Okay, that's enough. You think that's the only Zonda R here, but there's a whole bunch of Paganis over there. For these before they go to the show. Nice. Gallardo-based car. What did I tell you? A real Zonda showed up. So you know what's messed up over here is that I can't cover all the cars because there's so many of them. Just look at this lineup. The Elfard. That's 25 years old, really? We got a black olive 720 here with a couple of modified ones. That's a funky color. Inside with the new 812 competition and ooh, pista with BBS wheels. That kind of suits the car. Little fins. But this Imola Red M5 with Euro side markers. You know how people say Carrera GTs are rare? Well, there's four here in every color basically, every color there is. We saw this on Rodeo last year with a really nice custom interior. Giant wing, another one. I guess that's David's car. It says on the side. Super cool accents inside. Matching cage. The Hennessy H5, I think. I think that's what it's called. Never seen one in person. Oh wow! Carbon back. So on this side you have the dark green one and I think this is a heritage edition? I'm not sure. Baby blue and black. So on that side you have a gray one, a white one, and the other two. See at first glance you think, oh that's a nice M3. But if you look at it from the side, probably one of the sickest M3s ever. Look at those brakes. That's done so well. Like, I love my M3, but like, I would want something like this, like a E46 station wagon. Ugh, BMW should have made this. Would have bought one, or two, or a few. I don't know, this looks nicer than the M3. What do you think? All these cars, mine. We got a military green looking STO and the GG Stitch. Battle Pop figure. Forgot to cover this side. So there, we got a Regera and a BC. And another Conic Seg. <laughs> And the Apollo IE. I think we saw this at the castle last year. Super, super cool with all the carbon fiber bits. The 3D printed exhaust. 
This is literally a room just full of Bugattis. So starting with the Devo over here. And a super cool paint. And you have the Chiron Pure Sport. The fixed wing. Windows open. And then the regular Chiron. And the Veyron. The OG. With the regular bear on, you have the Super Sport, I think, or the Vitesse, or whatever facelift model this is called. Same, same, but just different headlights and different wheels. You know, this might be actually be the one that was like published that it had the hardest paint because all these little dots are not stickers; they're in the paint. So it's like flat sparkles mixed with like sparkly gray paint, even down here as well. That is <laughs> on our head. And I'm like, is that weed? But it's not, it's actually Japanese maple, but it looks like weed. I'm gonna do a flashlight video because it's too dark. But these wheels go so well with this car. I kinda wish I have these on a 92 GT3, but unfortunately they didn't fit because of the offset. Gas time. Yeah. 